I'm lost. Again. The streets in this big city all look the same. I just want to enjoy a cup of tea. Why is it so difficult? Isn't this a great opportunity to practice asking for directions? Let's ask this guy. Excuse me, little bro. Uh, I'm not sure how old you are. Can I call you little bro? Hmm? Are you talking to me? If you're not one of long life species, then I guess we're around the same age. Is there something you need? I'd like to ask, uh, how can I get to the sleepless Earl? Go straight until Starwatcher Avenue. Keep to the right, and you'll see a storyteller performing on your way. That's where the sleepless Earl is. Thanks, little bro. Really sorry for the trouble. It's my first time visiting another civilization. It's normal to feel a little uncomfortable when you're so far from home. If you need any help, just ask. So, where are you from? I'm from Bellabog. Oh, we've only recently re-established connections with the Cosmos, so you might not have heard of it. Bellabog? I've heard of it from others. No wonder your metal arm looks so awesome. Master, you must be here to compete in the war dance, right? <laughs> Master? Ah, you flatter me. Uh, my name is Luca. I'm here to compete in the war dance. I hope to make a name for myself by successfully challenging the ringmaster of the Xianzhou Luo Fu, so that everyone will know the name Bellabog. You want to challenge the ringmaster of the Luo Fu? You want to challenge Yan Qing? <laughs> it seems like our stars are aligned. You're also here to compete in the war dance? Are you also here to challenge the one named Yan Qing? <laughs> I guess, as a warrior, I always have to keep challenging myself. Yeah, I agree! Warriors have to keep challenging themselves and strong enemies. If you stop moving forward and get scared by the enemy in front of you, all past battles become meaningless. To be able to represent the Xianzhou Lo Fu, oh, this Yan Qing must truly be a legendary fighter. Not feeling so sure of myself now that I think about it. I feel the same as you whenever I stand in the ring. Although I am confident in the skills that I've honed over the years through my hard work, honestly speaking, there's always that nagging uncertainty about how good my opponents might be. It's like fear sneaks in and messes with my confidence. Uh, I've got a little trick that can help you conquer your pre-match anxiety. Find an empty place, and scream the name of your opponent until you truly believe that you can beat the enemy you fear. <laughs> what an interesting trick! Okay, I'll give it a go. <clears throat> I will be victorious. The last one standing in that ring can only be me! I, Luca, will definitely win! I will defeat Yin Ching! <laughs> Come on, let me hear you shout! Let's pump ourselves up! Uh, <laughs> me too? Come, shout with me! I will defeat Yan Ching! I will defeat Yan Ching! Yan Ching won't defeat me! Yan Ching won't defeat me! <laughs> hey, you're right! All that shouting made me feel much more confident. See? I wasn't lying. Although I haven't seen much of the world, I do have a lot of experience fighting. I hope this helps. Thank you, Luca. It's late. I have to go prepare for my match. Oh, my friend, you haven't told me your name.
<laughs> you can call me Lung Fung. <laughs> In the Sien Zhou language, it means an icy blade. May fate bring us together again, Luca. Lung Fung. Now that's a really cool name for such a cool person. Luca back yet? Let's head back to the lounge and take a look.